going on guys? Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Some of you might be surprised today that I'm actually doing a hair product review on my channel, which is something that I never, ever, ever, ever do anymore. And I'm cheap. Did I already say that? I'm cheap. I don't like to spend a whole lot of money on products. So the reason that I bought new products today is because I literally have zero shampoo in my house. I went to the drugstore for something else and all of the Maui Moisture shampoo lines are on sale. So this is the one that we're talking about today. It's the Lightweight Moisture Plus Flaxseed line. I'm going to go and wash um, my hair and I'll come back either with wet hair or with my hair dry um, and go through all of my thoughts about the shampoo and conditioner. Um, to style my hair today, I'm only going to use BioTerra gel because I feel like if I start using cream and gel and mousse and all of these different things, then I'm not really going to be able to tell if I like the way the shampoo and conditioner made my hair look and feel or if it was more related to the combination and the types of styling products that I use. So I'm going to try to keep this review as real as possible. If I don't like the products, I'm going to tell you. Um, in my old videos, I feel like I was like too nice, like I didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but I feel like Maui Moisture, you know, they're doing pretty good. Like if I say that I don't love these products, um, their business is not going to go under. They have a, a great company and great marketing and I think they'll be fine. I'm back, my hair is clean and dry and my hair's been dry for a couple of hours now. So this is a really good representation of what my hair looks like um, after using these products. I find in a lot of product review videos and even old videos that I have done, you show your hair immediately after it's styled and of course it's going to look really, really good. But that's not your real hair, that is your indoor hair. <laughs> Um, and so I wanted to keep it real today. I went to the grocery store and I picked up one of my kids at daycare and I just ran a couple of errands. So this is what my hair looks like. I would say three hours um, after I diffused it. And I'm going to talk about my final results in a minute. But before I do that, I'm just going to talk individually about like the shampoo and the conditioner and kind of my in shower experience and how I felt using these products. Um, and then I'm going to talk about my final results. Uh, the only other thing that I want to say is if you have used these products before, whether you liked them or loved them or hated them, please let us know in the description box below because my opinion today is only one opinion. I'm going to start with the shampoo. So like I said in the intro, the shampoo is the Lightweight Curls Flaxseed Shampoo from Maui Moisture. Um, the shampoo and conditioner say the same things on the bottles. No mineral oil, no silicone, no paraben, no gluten, no sulfated surfactants, um, no synthetic dye. It's vegan, it has pure coconut water, and pure aloe. The first thing I want to talk about is just the packaging. I don't have a whole lot to say about the packaging. I don't really care that much about what it looks like. Um, what I do like is that it's easy to get out of the bottles. So if you know, you know. If you've ever bought conditioner that you literally can't get out of the bottle, um, then you know <laughs> what it's like to get something with terrible packaging. Anyway, this packaging is great. And when you get to towards the ends of the bottles, you can store it um, upside down. So that's all I'm going to say about that. The scent, the scent for me is probably one of my all time favorite product scents. I do like scented products. I'm not like a scent-free products person, but I don't like when something smells like overly like fake smelling, like overly synthetic or overly scented. And this has like a nice, light, grassy, lemony, naturey kind of clean smell. And I really loved that. And the smell of the shampoo and the conditioner match. And they're not strong smelling, even in the shower. Let's talk about the cost really quick. I'm kind of jumping all over the place. This was on sale for about eight bucks a bottle, so that's $16 for the set. As far as shampoo goes, I don't mind spending $8 on this size bottle of shampoo because it lasts me a long time. Um, but if I'm spending up towards $10, and if they weren't on sale, I think they're about $12.99, probably in some stores. That's Canadian, by the way. Um, but if I'm spending around $10 on a bottle of conditioner, I usually like it to be a larger bottle because it doesn't last me very long. And again, that's all personal preference. I'm kind of 
a cheapskate when it comes to products if I can find something that I like almost as much or as much that's really inexpensive I'm always going to go with the inexpensive option so the price point was like okay I don't shampoo my hair very often I usually co-wash my hair which creates no lather so when I do shampoo my hair and I do really cleanse my scalp well I like to have a nice sudsy ladder lad lather ladder lather thank you very much um so i like a little bit of a lather this did lather not only did it lather it kind of it gave my hair a moisturized feeling as i was washing my hair so it didn't overly strip or cleanse my hair and to be perfectly honest i mean i know my hair is only shoulder length but I felt like I had a little tiny bit of slip, like what I would almost be able to start detangling my hair in the shower with just the shampoo, which to me is pretty impressive. And it rinsed really well. So as far as like the shampoo goes, not my results, but just like the shampoo itself, the packaging, the price, um, the in-shower experience, the scent, how it lathered, I'm gonna give the shampoo um, a 10 out of 10 for now like without talking about my results. I really, really, really loved it a lot. Conditioner, not gonna read the bottle. It's the same as the shampoo, only it says conditioner on it. So I'm gonna talk about it in the same way I talked about the shampoo. Scent was great, packaging was great. It was easy to get out of the bottle. It has a really nice texture. It's not watery and it's not too thick, I'll show you. See, look, like right in the middle. Oh somewhere right in the middle. I knew it was a lightweight conditioner. I knew it wasn't going to be super thick, so I was pleasantly surprised with the thickness. Um, as far as ease of application, it did have slip. I was able to finger detangle my hair easily. So the slip was good. Um, when I scrunched it into my hair, I felt like my hair felt very moisturized and heavy and my hair clumped well and then the conditioner rinsed really well. So I don't have any complaints whatsoever about the bottle or the price really. Found it a little bit expensive compared to um, the fact that I normally spend about $6 and get like a quite a bit of a bigger bottle. Um, the price was okay. It had a nice thickness, it had a creaminess to it. It had enough slip for me and my hair felt moisturized and it rinsed well. So. As far as using the product, again, um, I would have given this a 10 out of 10 again. And when I was in the shower, before I dried my hair, I was convinced that I was gonna come on here and be like, guys, I found it. This is like the holy grail of holy grails of shampoo and conditioner. I've never found shampoo and conditioner, especially at the drugstore that I liked more than this, go buy this like I was sold and I'm so happy and so excited uh, to make this video and then I dried my hair. Here are my final results of my hair after using that shampoo and conditioner and then applying just gel to my hair. The reason I applied just gel is because I do get a fairly moisturized look with my other shampoo and conditioner with just gel and I didn't want to use like a hair cream um, or a lot of different products um, in this video because I wouldn't have um, a good sense of how well the shampoo and conditioner actually worked on my hair. So I use just gel, which I do oftentimes, um, and I was able to see um, how my hair was shaped and how my curls formed and how moisturized my hair looked and stuff like that. So up until this point, I was given the products a 10 out of 10, like I said. Um, when it got to my final results, I would say I was like a little bit disappointed but not surprised by the results and I'm going to talk to you about that a little bit more and again if you've used this please uh, leave your information and your results in the comment section below but my hair like on camera right now doesn't look too bad. Um, when I was drying my hair, when I was diffusing my hair it felt soft, it felt like it was retaining moisture, I was still really happy with it. Um, but then the final result for me was just a little too dry. And I know you're going to say, surprise, surprise, you're using a lightweight shampoo, a lightweight conditioner, and just gel. Are you surprised? No, I'm not. Um, I liked the products enough that 
I would use them again and I will probably use them on a regular basis. I will just make sure to use a hair cream and then a gel or a hair cream and a mousse. I really feel like with that line, unless you like a no product look, if you want a more defined, more moisturized look, I really think that you need a little bit more creaminess. You need like a little bit more um, moisturizing agents in your products in order to keep some more moisture in the strands of your ha hair so your hair looks a little bit juicier and a little bit healthier and less fluffy. Now again, cameras are deceiving. I feel like when I'm looking at myself right now, my hair doesn't look too bad. And to be honest, in person, it doesn't look bad. Like I said, I went to the grocery store. When I did my thing, if somebody saw me, they would probably think, oh, her hair looks good. Um, and so I'm not complaining. I'm not totally like dissing the line whatsoever. But to me, based on like what my hair normally looks like, I just feel like this is a little too fluffy um, and a little too dry. So I would add the hair cream. So that is kind of my honest opinion and my honest review. I said that I gave the product line like a 10 out of 10 before I dried my hair. So what would I give it now? I would give it about, I would still give it like, I don't know, like a seven and a half. Um, because I will definitely use it until the bottles are empty. My scalp feels really good. I didn't mention that. My scalp feels really good, not irritated. It feels clean. I feel like there is no product buildup in my hair, but my hair doesn't feel like stripped of moisture. It's just a little bit dry looking, and I have less curl definition than I normally had. So that's my review of the products. I definitely think that these are worth trying for yourself, especially if you don't really have a problem with dry hair or if you're saying, oh, I would like my hair to feel clean um, and to have that light moisture look and maybe I'll use a little bit of a hair cream. I definitely recommend trying them, but unless you're out of shampoo and conditioner, I'm not telling you to get in your car and run out and buy these products. Um, anyway, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. You can give it a thumbs up if you liked it and a big old thumbs down if you didn't like it. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.